Mithridates VI was the ruler of the Kingdom of Pontus, which was here. The man was paranoid of being poisoned, so intentionally took small doses to become immune. They were both poisoned. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to Iocane powder. His paranoia was justified as, first, his father Mithridates V was killed by poisoning, Second, he believed his mother tried to poison him as a teenager, so once he gained power, he imprisoned her and his brother. Thirdly, his friends plotted to poison him till one of the friends changed their mind and told Mithridates about the plan. He executed all the others. With all this happening, it makes a lot of sense why he was paranoid about poisons. The guy studied poisons for his entire life, developing antidotes which were then tested on criminals. After being defeated by Pompey, he fled, attempting to build another army to continue the war. The plan failed. He reportedly tried to end himself with the poison he carried. Of course it didn't work due to the resistance he built up for years. He was killed by the old reliable sword. Can't build immunity to that. Now, the practice of protecting yourself against a poison by gradually taking little amounts is called Mithridatism. People have injected small amounts of snake venom over time to build up tolerance. This works because our bodies produce antibodies to detect the venom. You'll be resistant but not immune like the opossum and the mongoose. Mithridatism won't work for poisons that don't invoke an immune response like cyanide and heavy metals. Did you know the chemical symbol for lead, PB, comes from the Latin word plumbum? The Romans used lead for plumbing since the metal was easy to work with. Anywho's, thanks for watching. Consider one more.